Our appreciation continues to go to Duke Energy. Duke, for a number of years, has sponsored our Lifetime Achievement Award. I asked Randy Welch with Duke Energy to come to the stage for this presentation. He is no stranger to the stage as he's been here with us every year making this presentation, sponsoring this award on our behalf. Today we do something that we've never done before, and that is we are recognizing two individuals who are both currently elected officials. Today we honor a gentleman who has served the Cabarrus region for the last 54 years or so in one capacity or another. He's taught our children, and later he led our schools as principal of their schools. He spent 36 years involved with our educational system. He volunteers at the Carolinas Medical Center, Northeast, and is a member of the Board of Directors for the Northeast Foundation, a member and trustee. He and his wife of 51 years, Bernie, attend New Gilead Reformed United Church of Christ, where he has been the treasurer for the last 30 years and has assumed many leadership positions in the church, including deacon and elder, chair of the church and ministry commission. He is a trustee of Rowan Cabarrus Community College. Our recipient, the Honorable Bob Meisenheimer, is a veteran of the U.S. Air Force and served in Korea. Mayor Bob is a graduate of Catawba College, holds a master's degree from App State, and an advanced certificate in school administration from UNC Chapel Hill. He's the father of two daughters and three grandchildren. Mayor Bob has served as mayor of the city of Kannapolis since 2005. He stated that his first priority for Kannapolis is economic development, because development leads to jobs which are the city's most pressing need. Now, Mayor Bob, if you'll stand here with me just a moment, let me introduce our second honored individual with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Our region is the home of many talented and dedicated individuals who have elected to serve the community as their life's vocation. This individual has done just that. Although not a native to Cabarrus County, he got here as quick as he could, he is one of the biggest supporters of our region. He decided early in his career to serve in the classroom with our students. He came from App State with an undergraduate degree and began teaching. He too went on to become an administrator, serving as a principal for many years. He earned a Master's of Education degree from UNC Charlotte and an advanced degree from UNC Chapel Hill. Scott Paget took office as mayor of Concord in 2001 and continues in that position today. He is very active in the community, outside of the political arena as well, serving as a member of the Concord Rotary Club, the Rotary Club Board of Directors, the Community Free Clinic Board, Cabarrus Workshop Board, and as an advisor to Stonewall Jackson Advisory Board. Mayor Scott is a member of All Saints Episcopal Church. He's a past member of the North Carolina League of Municipalities Board and is an active participant in the U.S. Congress of Mayors. He is a member of the North Carolina Metropolitan Coalition of Cities. Scott is married to Teresa, and he has one child and three grandchildren. He states that he's always been impressed with the leadership in Concord and feels honored to serve its citizens. His theory is that we do have challenges today, but they are no greater than those faced by our forefathers. Working together, the citizens can make this an even better place in which to live and work. Mayor Paget, Mayor Meisenheimer, if both of you gentlemen would step forward, please. It's a great privilege on behalf of the Cabarrus Regional Chamber of Commerce to see you presented with these Lifetime Achievement Awards sponsored by Duke Energy. Congratulations, gentlemen. We appreciate your service. 